Hello, this is Megan Horniman, the Chief Investment Officer for Verdant Capital Advisors, coming to you today with our regular segment of Markets with Megan. And I want to talk a little bit about what's going on in the bond market today. We've seen a pretty, pretty big rally in bonds. Um, so that means yields are down and prices are up. And let's just kind of dig into what's going on and why. Um, first of all, the Treasury um, announced their issuance for the upcoming quarter. This is their quarterly refunding announcement. And normally this means absolutely nothing to anybody but bond traders. It it doesn't move the market. Um, it's just a regular quarterly um, announcement that they make so that we understand how much debt will be issued in that quarter. But in August, the uh, Treasury came out and actually announced an, a pretty big increase in what they were going to be issuing on a quarterly basis. And this spooked bond investors. Um, this is when we started to see that yields in the long end of the Treasury curve started to move higher um, in anticipation of this increase in supply. Well, today they came out with that quarterly announcement. And instead of $114 billion worth of bonds being issued this quarter, um, which was what was expected, they're going to issue $112 billion worth of um, issuance. The market's rallying on this news. Um, they decided that they would reduce their 10 year note and 30 year bond um, issuance by a slight amount and keep the 20 year um, unchanged from the prior quarter. But uh, you know, treasury or bond investors like this, they like the fact that there's less supply. I just want to put this in perspective. Um, let's be honest, this is $112 billion in one quarter compared to 114. And we're seeing the 10 year treasury yield down about 13 basis points on the day just on that news. Um, I think that that's a little bit optimistic. Um, let's put let's keep in mind that the Treasury is issuing a sub substantial amount of debt to fund our deficit. And the biggest holder of Treasury bonds, which is the Federal Reserve, is reducing their balance sheet. So I think this is probably just a, a little bit of a knee-jerk reaction. Um, we still think that there's probably some upward pressure that you'll see in yields in the coming months. Um, we'd just be, uh, we're a little bit cautious that the that investors took this with such positivity today, this report. That's all I have today about the refunding announcement. If you have any questions, or comments, please feel free to reach out to podcast at burdens.com. Thank you.